Hey guys, Chris here again from Project Nerf, and welcome to Nemesis, the series where we take the really tough blasters to modify and see if we can make them battlefield performers. Let's take a look. Nemesis. Over the years, guys, I've heard a lot about various blasters and they either can't be modified or they're not worth the time or it's impossible to make them uh, playable on today's battlefield. And this series is predicated on the fact that I believe they can. Now, I want to say right up front that it's not intended to be a modification guide, per se. Just a point of direction, uh, something for you to look at and say, okay, if I was going to do this, this is a direction that I can go. That's not to suggest that it's the best way to go. It's simply the way that I chose to go with them. And the first blaster on our docket may be the most hated of all time. Um, so here we have it, uh, released in January of 2010, uh, the Instrike Deploy CS6. Now what we have here is a clear model that did release, in fact, a little bit later. Uh, it's in perfect working condition. And it really was an interesting blaster. Uh, it had the gimmicky folding design uh, that allowed it to fold up into flashlight mode. And I may be one of the only people out there, or you know, amongst, certainly amongst my viewer base, old enough to remember flashlight mode is what they called this, because you could hold it like so, and then the little red light on top, uh, and you could tote it around like a regular flashlight. So you could tote it around in flashlight mode, push the button on the top, and the blaster would then deploy into the blaster mode, or firing mode. Uh, it was magazine-fed, front pump, Reverse plunger, as pretty much all of the spring-powered blasters were of the era, and uh, is not looked upon with much favor uh, from the community, particularly amongst these vintage blasters. Um, you hear about its poor performance, uh, its unreliability, it would jam if you tried to run it too fast, etc., uh, etc. Et the list goes on and on. Uh, in reality, its performance was not any lower than the other blasters of the Instrike line. Um, of the era, the uh, CS-18 Alpha Trooper, uh, which I have one laying around here somewhere, uh, pretty much has the exact same muzzle velocity. Um, with its slam fire, was capable of running at a higher speed. The deploy, its only real failing is that if you tried to run it quickly, uh, it would jam up on you. If you were a little more deliberate with it, it worked just fine. So... I've heard time and again because of this reverse plunger design that it can't be modified into something good. Now, Psych did a mod on one of these uh, where he pinned the magwell in the upper position or in flashlight mode and made an extension handle and converted this to direct plunger. I wanted to take that a step farther. I wanted to get battlefield performance out of it and still have it able to fold up and deploy while well, with the push of the button and uh, we got most of the way there so let's take a look at what we do have with our modified one now as you can see the blaster is folded up the stock and handle do deploy as they should and the magwell is a little bit stiff but we'll get into that later but it does still in fact fold up and fold down as the stock model. Now you can see our barrel coming off the front. Uh, we used a Monkey Mods barrel and a uh, very large plunger tube. I'm sure you guys probably can't see that, but in here it's a, a Prophecy plunger tube. It's been converted to direct plunger. And uh, we didn't go up on the spring load much on this. We didn't have to. Uh, it still primes and fires quite effectively. And it's even got a pretty good seal. Um, so, uh, very, very happy with that, and you can see it's been converted to fire short darts only, and we just have our uh, mag adapter in here. So, I'm going to show you guys some video and some stills. We'll do an overview with it open, uh, so you can see exactly what I did on the inside and how I did it, and then we'll get it out on the range and uh, see how it performs. Alright guys, so you can see the inside of my deploy here, and uh, one of the first things you'll notice is that it's got a big giant uh, plunger tube in it. That's a prophecy plunger tube. 
and uh, we've modified it accordingly. Um, let me see if I can get the blaster turned around a little bit. You can see we've got uh, the actual Prophecy plunger head on this side connected to the original deploy arm. Um, then the Prophecy plunger rod coming back uh, through our catch, which has been custom done. You can see the metal on the bottom and the metal on the trigger here. Um, so all of that working. So with the uh, So all of that's pretty good. Um, pretty heavy spring on the catch. And then this is 19 30 seconds brass. Uh, that acts as a guide for the plunger rod as it comes back into the body. Um, and these two little parts I 3D printed, they're just round and they uh, hold that uh, pretty square. And the shell fits between here, so it's a nice tight uh, fit. And uh, we've converted it to short dart. Hopefully you know, it'll show on the inside here. It's gonna be kind of hard to do. Um, Put it together. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see down in there, but if we open it, see if we can prime it back a little ways here without too much stuff moving around on me since the blaster's not buttoned up. But hopefully, you can see in there we've uh, converted that. So we've got a uh, monkey mod barrel which I cut down. And uh, turns out to be one of my bigger mistakes. I actually lost a few FPS uh, cutting this down. I cut about three quarters of an inch off thinking that I had too much barrel and too much barrel drag. And it turns out that I did not. Um, so I actually lost a couple FPS when I did that. Um, but you can see pretty well the inside of this thing's been completely gutted out and custom done and things like that. So anyway, we're going to button it up and uh, give it a go. All right, guys, to uh, illustrate the difference uh, in our stock deploy and our modified one, I've got a, a stock deploy here, and we're going to try to fire a few, few shots of this thing through the chronograph, if I can line it up, and hopefully you guys can still see. Now, it looks like the mag's going to block, so I'll just uh, call them out to you. And... Say uh, 52, 47, 52.9, 53.78, a hot one. Forty-six point two one. There's the deploy numbers we know and love, and forty-eight point six five. So around fifty FPS uh, with elite darts, which is about as good as you can expect from a stock deploy. Let's get our modified one here, and again, hopefully not too much gets in the way of the camera. Hopefully you can see that 98.52. Hopefully you guys can see that. 102 .9. 95.42. Four four ninety three six ninety three seven or four seven other. We saw the chrono numbers. Our stock deploy was hitting uh, right around 50, uh, which is about all you can expect on Elite Darts, which is an upgrade, guys. These things came with streamlines. 50 FPS would have been a pipe dream. But right here on the range, so I've got the uh, 12 mag loaded up for the deploy. 
So what we're going to do, bone stock deploy guys, we're going to shoot six dead flat down range for distance and then we'll try uh, hitting a couple of targets here. So here we go. Bounced off the other camera. With the bounce, these are making it maybe 30 feet. Okay, so I think that was six of them. Let's see if we can hit that 20 foot target. Please note I'm on a little angle here. Whoa. Wow, that one just ripped out of it. Okay, well, I hit the 20-foot target once, and our grouping of darts was actually pretty tight on our flat shots. They sailed underneath what would be my 20-foot target uh, with a little bounce to about 30 feet in length. We're going to do the same thing with a modified one. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the barrel shroud off. Um, I use it to protect our aluminum barrel here. So let's go ahead and uh, get this bad boy loaded up here. Same thing, six shots just for distance, dead flat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, those sailed uh, chest high. Whoops. Uh, past my 40 foot target out in the range. Oh, a little bit of a dribbler on that one. Yeah, all of those went at least 40 flat, so. Um. Oh, just missed it. Keep the tree. Short darts are killing me. Oh, there's one. So, here's one of them. And you can see our proximity uh, to my 60 foot target. And then we're going to keep moving along because I see one on the ground here, too. All right, there we go. There's one. two of them out here behind the 60 foot target so what a what a qualitative difference in range of course we doubled our power so i would expect to get double the range and all the way back there to the table guys that's where i was shooting from so this is uh flat shots from a modified deploy that's uh that's awesome All right, guys, you saw the chrono numbers. Most of these are shooting in the middle 90s. Once in a while, I just pick a one off in the uh, the, the low 100s, and that's on a spring that's probably 4.5K. It's a pretty light spring in the blaster. It primes easily. Um, you saw the internal mods with the overview with the blaster uh, opened up to see how much custom work went on in here. It was quite a bit uh, to retain the ability of this blaster to fold up into that flashlight mode. Um, the funny thing about the Deploy is these days you can grab them at Goodwill or yard sales for virtually nothing, and for the most part, uh, cleaned up, they still function. Uh, I've seen these things uh, have hammers taken to them, axes taken to them, set on fire, run over by cars, everything like that. It's simply not the terror that people believe it is. It's a complicated blaster on the inside. There's a lot of locks, a lot of stuff going on. But once you understand it, like any of them, uh, you, know, you can work with it, and you can make something out of it. Uh, so, uh, that, and that's what this series is all about. Uh, we set out to make a deploy that functioned as stock, that functioned with serviceable battlefield numbers, and I think we've got that in that uh, middle to upper 90s range. It still folds up. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm very, very happy with the results. You saw it out on the range where it was firing flat shots well out to the 60-foot mark. That was a pipe dream for a stock one. Uh, and, of course, those chrono numbers are amongst the higher, if not the highest, I've ever seen for a deploy uh, that doesn't have some variety of electronic afterburner on it or some something along those lines. So, yeah, very, very pleased with it. I hope you guys like it, too. If you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button. Smash the notification button. We've got a couple of more great videos coming up, along with the announcement of our new fall giveaway. Throw us a like. Throw us a comment. Fan mail address is in the description box below. Guys, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and at the shop. Till next time, guys, this is Chris for Project Nerf saying have a blast.